Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it is season 25, and this is war number 4. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called X Factor Anonymous. So, we are going to go in, and we're going to look. I have not gone in yet to scout my path. We're going to scout the path together. All right, and I will talk you through my thought processes uh, as to who I'm planning on bringing in here. You know, I have my standard team, so I'm evaluating this based on who I'm likely to be bringing in uh, anyway and to see if there's any differences I need to, uh, any changes I need to make. All right, so I take path three, and they actually do have someone uh, on that first node red goblin uh he's not that difficult of a defender uh but i don't remember fighting him on this node now i normally bring in uh warlock nick fury black widow clairvoyant so when i'm looking at this i'm thinking can one of those take this fight and i believe nick fury should be able to take that fight without too much difficulty uh, next, we've got uh, Mephisto. Mephisto, he's a little tricky, but I believe my Black Widow uh, clairvoyant should be able to take care of that Mephisto. Uh, and if I need to take that mini, Warlock can fight that Iceman. All right. So um, you can see it, they've gotten in here a little bit um, sooner. Uh, earlier. Uh, I'm a little bit late, but I just had some things I needed to do. Uh, I don't usually take that cord. We got somebody for that. Now, we've got this guy here. Now, if I had to take him, I would probably end up using... Um, actually, I could use any of my champions to possibly take him down. Uh, Nick Fury, Warlock, or Black Widow Clairvoyant can probably do that fight. Now, here's something that's very interesting. I don't know. I I haven't seen this. They didn't place anyone there for that first node. Usually, they don't place someone in Section 1. And then you usually see Colossus there. But they decided not to put anyone there. Okay, fair enough. And that Stealth Spidey, uh, Black Widow should be able to handle that. Um, Nick Fury should be able to handle that as well. Uh, and if necessary, Warlock. Uh, then we've got this Venom. And uh, that node, let me show you guys. Venom himself isn't really the problem, but uh, he will be gaining um, these strike counters and you'll be suppressed. So don't expect to fire specials off unless you have a passive power gain or something like that and you fire them frequently. But even then, you usually get suppressed pretty hard. And the buffet, that can be an issue. So uh, you want to bring someone in that doesn't rely on their specials and can handle buffet. Now, Warlock mm, should be able to do that fight if necessary. Build up the um, infections. And that takes care of the buffet. They won't heal. Uh, and then you can just do a parry heavy and take him out if necessary. All right. So you don't actually need to do specials. Um, I don't know if I would take Black Widow Clairvoyant in here, but she could do it. Probably not ideal. Uh, Warlock would be my favorite of the three that I plan on bringing in. Uh, Nick Fury might be able to do it, but I would have to play in a certain way, not triggering decks or anything or removing decks from my masteries which i'm not going to do and see venom is very aggressive so you really want to fight him with someone that can just block the heal so you can evade his uh attacks without triggering um a lot of healing okay so let's look at boss island here all right so just looking at that, I'm not going to the right side for the most part because there's a void. I run suicides. Um, that's not a good time. Uh, so looking up to the left, that I might be able to do. 
uh, just depends uh, if I'm needed. Uh, that uh, Nick Fury, I've fought him on that node before. Uh, so I, I can do that unless I mess up. And then we've got Doom. Uh, and Warlock, if he's in good shape, can do it. Um, Black Widow Clairvoyant, well, uh, she can do it. But I probably, you know, will use either a Nick Fury or a Warlock before I use Black Widow for that Doom fight, if I have to take him. All right, so we'll be back with some fighting. And uh, I will comment over the fight. So be right back. All right, we're back and I'm going in with my standard team. I uh, didn't see anything that would cause me to change my mind. All right, so in section one, path three, uh, we first are going to fight a red goblin. Now, I don't fight red goblin a lot, but he never struck me as a very difficult uh, person to fight. Uh, I can evade his special one. I try not to push him to a special two. I'm not quite as confident in uh, evading his special two. So the idea is to push him to a special one, bait it out, and just fight him normally. Uh, he's not very tricky. You don't want to get hit by his special two. That will wreck you. All right, so... I decided to go in here with Nick Fury. Just in case I mess up, it's nice to have the life model decoy uh, as a safety net. All right, so you can see here, the fight is just underway and those bleeds are doing some work. I have deep wounds maxed out. I'm also running suicides. And as you can see, Red Goblin went down hard without any difficulty for Nick Fury Life model decoy still going strong and only a little bit of health uh, removed. And that's mainly because of my suicide. Now, this fight against Mephisto, I'm going to bring in Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, and I mentioned this before, but what I plan to do anytime I face Mephisto with Black Widow Clairvoyant is to cycle through to her Curse of Plague, not Plague, uh, Curse of Hellfire. That's where she is incinerate immune. Okay, so she's in curse of plague right now. And we want to do one more light ending attack. There we go. And now we're in curse of hellfire. So I don't have to worry about any of that incinerate aura. Now that was supposed to be a special two. I did not mean to fire a special three off, but I gained so much power. Now I don't even have Mystic Dispersion right now. And so you could see if I had Mystic Dis uh, Dispersion, that would be very unmanageable. Um, I am not a great fan of Mystic Dispersion for certain champions. If you want to strategically uh, throw off specials, it can mess you up. And I have it unlocked to three, and that's about as high as I would go. Now, if you're fighting with someone like Symbiote Supreme, where you want to fire off a lot of special threes and twos and all of that, it's beautiful for him. And there's a couple of other champions that it's great for, mainly champions you want to cycle through uh, special threes. So now we're going to fight this mini, Iceman. And of course I'm bringing in my boy Warlock. Warlock is uh, cold snap immune. So that's why you see we're not taking any of that fun and interactive damage uh, that Iceman, who is awakened, uh, would put on you. And so you can see we're, we're doing some work. You know, not too difficult here. There we go. Evaded the special one. Not a problem. He's in the corner here, right? And so I basically say, let's get him with the... Uh... And that happened. I was ready. I was like, okay, let's hit him with a special two. Can you see the pauses? That's not the video, guys. That's what the game is doing right now. All right? The game was stuttering and lagging on me. It has been running horribly of late. And I was not happy with that because I should have come out of this fight with most of my health 
and instead my warlock would have to be healed up which the heals are expensive but he would have to be healed up if i want to use him again and we try to do itemless wars for the most part um we're not super serious about war so here i have a warlock that i'm probably not going to be able to use for the fights that i was planning to use him unless i decide to use items use some of my precious glory to buy those overly priced health potions and heal him up all right so we got through section one and the middle is about to be cleared uh there we go i don't take that korg we have someone that rocks that mix master korg so we let them take him all the time so now i'm moving on to section two and you can see they did not place a defender on that first node as i noted before that was a little unusual um but now i'm gonna fight this spider-man and this is stealth suit spider-man when he first came to the contest i really had a problem with him he has uh these seven hit combos and it threw off my normal rhythm you know when you fight in marvel contest of champions there's a certain rhythm to the fight and he kind of throws off your your rhythm until you get used to it now one of the things you want to do you see that uh buff up there that spider sense just know that he's gonna evade see like right there so what you want to do while he has that up is fire off one hit combos to try to make him evade once he evades now he doesn't have the spider sense up you're good until he fires off a special like this okay there he's got the spider sense up again now you have to be careful again all right and see here see how i'm not doing full five hit combos all right just trying to you know get him to to you know evade all right so see here just one just trying to get him out there and then finally i'm just like okay let's just go in for the kill because he can't evade while he's stunned so as long as you stun hit a couple of hits you won't ever have to worry about that um we used to have to fight that way against um og spider-man before we had any kind of counters to these evaders uh same thing with nightcrawler uh if you were able to stun them that's how you would fight them safely parry and a few hits now you saw i was not wanting to take this fight i didn't feel like i had uh the best counters for it uh warlock who i would have taken the fight with is hurt and so i backed off from the fight but if you notice uh someone went in and tried and was not able to take down this uh venom and so i was asked could i please uh try to take him down finish him off said okay so i had a plan you can see i'm boosting up i don't mind using these boosts i get them in so frequently and you see that advanced power boost that is to counter the node you know strike counter combat power rate i don't want to get in a situation where i'm not able to fire off my special attacks all right so this is going to get me to a special two very quickly i'm already there fire it off resets the counters and i'm already back to a um almost a special one all right so now we're just going in and we have this fight under control at this point there we go i got to a special two again fired it off and he's done that advanced power boost is very useful especially for that node and i don't get a chance to use them very often so when i do i like to uh use it uh to my advantage so that's the final fight that i had in this war i stopped there as you can see uh, they're clearing it out. They did not need me for that doom. Uh, and they finished off uh, the war uh, without needing me to help out. All right. So we'll be back in a moment and you'll find out how the war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you thought about this video. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.